My name is Michael Carlito. I am the Chief Business Development Officer for OM Tech Lasers. Metal is a part of everything that we do. Aerospace, car parts, kitchen manufacturing, gym equipment, prototyping. The world's made up of metal and plastic, so we got the metal side covered with the FCs and plastics covered with our CO2s. What I think inspired the for our company, OM Tech Lasers, to develop FCs was we wanted to bring a similar model uh, that we did with our CO2 line to our fiber cutting. What we did was we opened up the market to people that were originally priced out of it. Um, so we wanted to bring a level of support to consumers that, you know, generally they would have to pay exorbitant amount of fees in order to get into this market or get into one of these machines. So we wanted to adopt our same principles that we did for the CO2 line into our fiber cutter line, uh, offering exceptional service, but not gouging the customers uh, for that service. Many companies are really selling contracts, service contracts uh, for their machinery. We wanted to be able to cut out the fat, bring quality service and bring a machine and bring people into the fold that were originally not able to enter this market. So the three key features of our FC line are precision, accuracy and support. So if you're working in aerospace, something like that, uh, these machines are capable of 0.001 tolerance. Uh, meaning that you know when you put your materials together, they will lay flat, they will fit in smoothly. There really is no limit to the metal thickness you can cut. It's really based off the power configuration. So you know if you're at a 1.5 kilowatt, you're probably around three millimeters, like eighth of an inch, something at that at most. Whereas if you go to four kilowatt and above, you're doing half inch plate. You know, but it's really based off the material right, that you're using. So if I'm doing carbon steel, I'm going to be able to go much farther in my depth than if I'm doing aluminum, because that's a very reflective material. So it really comes down to what the customer needs uh, in terms of what they're cutting, which we can, we can put together the right configuration at the right price for them. Bringing a machine into your business can cut your outsourcing rate by roughly around 30%, as well as open up opportunities of what you know, that customer, now what you can offer to other people out there who are needing metal cutting services. So you can start in one area, and if you are scaled up enough or be able to bring these machines in, you can move into other areas and businesses that maybe you weren't, you did not have access to if you were doing something like a punch stamp or a, you know, something with, a, with die cutting or, you know, if you're using plasma or water jet, you know, it's, you're getting speed, you're getting depth of cutting, and you're getting precision with a fiber cutter and you're reducing any sort of secondary processing which can cut down your operational costs as well. The amount you can customize your machine uh, is really tailored for what the business is doing and what their business goals are. Um, so if they're looking for more automation, such as exchange beds or pipe cutting, um, you know, those are add-ons you can have. Uh, adding an air compressor to the unit to supplement some of the gas usage because the machines also use gases to be able to get the cutting. That's how you get the beam going and that's how you get, you know, be able to spark through it. It really just matters on what the business is looking to, what their objectives are. And so far as you can, we can automate the entire thing and make sure you can cut the biggest sheets possible. We can make that happen. We come on site for install and training. It's two in one. So we install the machine. We make sure, you know, it's working properly and functioning. And in which case afterwards we go with who you, who's usually going to be the main operator of the machine, uh, train them to make sure that they know their core knowledge to be able to run and operate the unit properly, in which case they can also go on and train their other staff and crew. But we have our lifetime technical support help. So if you run into any snafus or snags within it, uh, we're happy to help bridge any knowledge gaps to make, make sure our users are being able to get the most out of their unit. We're gonna make sure you get the honest price and you get the service and support that you're also looking for because we're Americans at the end of the day. And if we have no one to be able to talk to about our problems or get you know, resolved on any sort of machine issues, um, then you know, that's not something exactly that we're happy about. And so that's what we wanted to bring. We wanted to bring that same essence of our CO2 line into our fiber cutter line.